We have video recording. Audio recording. And now we count it down in three, two, one. We don't say, I don't care. We say, this is shit irrelevant for me. Das ist mir scheißegal. And I think it's beautiful. Now don't push me too far, Barbara. <laughs> The Morning Stream. They wouldn't give us any more fish. Good morning. Welcome to TMS. It's the Morning Stream for Monday, September 11th, 2023. I'm Scott Johnson. That's Brian Ibbett. Hi, Brian Ibbett. Mm, hello, Scott. Hi. Hello, and welcome to a brand new week. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nothing and it begins funner. with a solemn day. <laughs> yeah, doesn't nothing it? more fun than starting the week at TMS with 9-11. Good times. With 9-11, yeah. Yeah. I tried to kind of avoid thinking too much about it this year because mm. I get real down about it. Uh, yeah. That was a bummer date for everybody involved. It was. Yeah, for That's sure. A, it was uh... an understatement to say it that way, but... <laughs> Man, 9-11, what a bummer date. Yeah, man. that sucked, man. Um, uh, yeah, and yeah. it helps that this isn't one of like the big anniversary days. Like The 25th anniversary is going to be coming up in a few years, and uh, oh, yeah. then it'll be like, oh, yeah, remember that? Remember yeah, that? dude, yeah. 20, how, how are we this far? That feels like yesterday. Yeah, I know. Is that crazy? Yesterday yeah. to me. But, you know, it was obviously a very long time ago. I was thinking earlier today, or this morning, uh, as I was showering, in fact, mm. about how- Do tell. We're celebrating some interesting, I uh, 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 a, a thing that happened can drink legally now moments. Now that's a, <laughs> it's a weird thing to be thinking in the right, shower, right? right? But yeah, yeah. For example, excuse me. For example, Richard Reed's bomb shoes can now drink legally. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Uh, yeah. In fact, related to that, uh, George Bush in his State he can of the drink Union address. Too. Yeah, yeah. He his uh, <laughs> he can drink whenever he wants. Right. Um, he this this was when he uh, said there he he coined the phrase "axis of evil" the whole Iraq Iran oh, North Korea thing right yeah and yeah. Uh, so now that can drink uh, what else here in TV and right. film we got uh, Janet Jackson Lenny Kravitz and Michael Jackson all received the Artist of the Century award mm. yeah why did Lenny Kravitz yeah. and Janet Jackson win that I get Michael but the other two you know well and even even Janet I guess yeah I guess I mean. It's, it seems uh, never too early to to announce somebody's the artist of the century. Were they talking about the previous century or the coming century? Because well, I mean, Lenny Kravitz, nineteen ninety three. Yeah, no, just... earlier than that. I was working for um, for uh, uh, the phone company, the art department for the phone company. So that would have been eighty eight, eighty nine. Oh, late eighties, somewhere around there was okay. when I first saw. I first saw Let Love Rule, and I said, "Oh wow, they brought back Jimi Hendrix." I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I guess twentieth then uh, was the century they're referring to. Um, yeah, but Janet Jackson, mm. Lenny Kravitz of the century? I don't know. Yeah, that seems no. off. I, Michael I, Jackson, I could see it. I could see Michael that. Jackson, sure. But I mean, I don't know. What about folks like if we're talking the the twentieth century? What about folks like Sinatra or uh, the Beatles? The Beatles or Elvis Presley or uh, I don't know someplace like somebody like that maybe or any of them really yeah <laughs> like like if you're gonna give it to these three you give it to yeah. hundreds more Prince, it's just yeah weird. exactly there's so many I feel like so many better yeah um, options you know who else okay. can drink well, now right. the premiere of the Osbournes the Ozzy Osbourne family reality oh, show oh really that can drink yeah, now nice. as of this year nice yeah. Bowling for Columbine, the controversial documentary. Mm. That can drink this year, finally. Finally, it can drink. Finally. The Wire can drink this Shame year. Shame on you, Mr. President. Shame on you. Shame on you. Now I'm going to go eat 14 donuts and <laughs> freaking Where's the break room. Where's the green room? Uh, d- uh, yeah, The Wire. Uh, let's see. American Idol, 21 years now. Mm. Wow. Uh, the, be- uh, the Born Identity, the first movie. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Remember that, We're Nicholas? We're going to be enjoying the uh, the third one on FilmSec this week. Oh, Brian, I even got a music one. Eminem yeah. releases the single Lose Yourself from the soundtrack of 8 Mile. Uh, first rap song to ever win an Academy Award Best Original Song. That song oh. can drink now. Wow. <laughs> That's too busy eating Mom's Spaghetti is the problem. That's right. It, it would drink, but... Uh, That's right. That's right. But it's eating. It's eating spaghetti. And then there's sports stuff, but I'm not reading that. I don't read sports stuff. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. No. 
I ain't got sure. no time for sports stuff. What, someone in the chat says the Olsen twins. What does that mean? Uh, they can they, oh they can drink. I guess. I mean, I mean they they've they're, been able to drink for a while. They're in their thirties now or forties. Yeah. Right. Hold on. Yeah. What was their What was their milestone in two thousand one or two thousand two that that now makes that milestone able to drink? That's what we're talking about. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, those girls are pushing thir- uh, forty. They're thirty seven. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. I remember how gross everybody was about like um. Ooh, when oh, they turn the countdown 18. clocks and stuff. Yeah, that was gross. Oh, but yeah. now they're f- almost forty. I'll bet those same guys. Well, those same guys are in their sixties now or seventies or something. Yeah. We're Perfect. talking about Perfect. you, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I saw a video of him yeah. at the at Wimbledon. Is it Wimbledon that's going on right now? I think one one of the big tennis things is happening. French yeah, Open. Sure. I don't know what, yeah, what's US going on. U.S. Open. Whatever. Sure. And he had the worst seats, so he was in this like <laughs> way back up high, and it looked like a nice little like all to yourself sort of zone. But he's yeah. he's watching the game like or the thing like this, like he's trying to look around somebody else. Or, Always oh, no, the whole he's, time. Like really? he's looking back and forth like you would at a tennis match, but he's yeah. He's like craning to look over people, and then when the lady in front of him just straight up stands up and you know claps or whatever, he just kind of slumps back like. Ugh. <laughs> He's like, I guess I'm gonna miss this part. <laughs> yeah, good thing I got my no uh, the younger than 24 year old uh, date with me. Everything will be fun. Everything Once upon fun. a time in Wimbledon. <laughs> anyway, that was just a thing I noticed. Uh, all right, Brian, you did a mystery date yeah. and sent me a hint, and I have no idea what the frick you did. So yeah, so this is one that uh, Tina set up and. Uh, like she she was able to keep this thing secret for almost right up until the house lights went down and I'll I'll explain. But basically, um, it was Tina's turn to pick, and so we went to the art theater. So we have a, um, you know, everybody's got one or two in their town. Those theaters that are specifically geared towards like showing older films, Criterion films, or documentaries. This one also does every time there's uh, an Oscar. Uh, deal they show all of the short films the animated oh, shorts yeah. and the live action shorts and documentary shorts so we've gone there for um for those before mm. and uh and it's you know it's a really cool little little theater for some reason it's not owned by by amc but for some reason i really should have asked somebody they've got a banner in the lobby no words on it but it's nicole kidman's head from the amc theaters commercial where she is all in awe of the theater oh because yeah. She, yeah yeah she's like going to the theater is a great experience and i barely have an australian accent and my face is three-fourths uh machine now and blah 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 <laughs> and and boy isn't it awesome coming to the theater yeah of course it is for you in this video because there's no other people there that is what ruins the theater experience at amc is mm-hmm. other people yeah it's when the people show up that we have trouble but it's 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 this weird banner of, of nicole kidman kind of looking up in awe like like looking up with her mouth slightly gape but this isn't uh, an amc a, a joint why do they have this it's not even an amc joint so i don't know it just feels like something that they they made and then hung up kind of tongue in cheek kind of thing. Mm, maybe they did. Maybe they were like, "Hey, you know it'd be funny. What if we took a, yeah. a, that idea?" I just, right, exactly. That seems like you're advertising for AMC. That's weird. That's well, there's, maybe, but there's no money. I mean, there's no logo or anything on there, so there's no there's nothing that would get that would generate other than people saying, "Oh, that's the AMC thing." Mm, so that's true. Good point. So, uh, so we get our popcorn and our soda, and she says, "All right, it's going to be in theater three. I said, "I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll go to theater three. And so that would have been the point. Like I could have averted my eyes as I was walking into the doorway of theater three, but instead, I made the mistake of looking up, and right <laughs> under the glowing neon number three, yeah. there's a little a little video screen that says what you're about to see. Yeah. And I look up, and it says. Cat Video Fest 2023. <laughs> I'll share this with the chat here. Look at this, everyone. Yeah. Uh, this is what Brian sent. His, he put this in the film set group that we have. Yeah. And he said, uh, basically, I don't know what, or no, he said, I'm not sure what I'm in store for, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, what the frick is this? This was like walking right. into a, like a YouTube channel with a door or something. Like, I, I didn't... Kind of, you know, so that was my first thought is, is this just going to be like, just basically we're going to be watching giant screen Instagram in a room full of people. And, um, I'm happy to tell you that. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was basically like, 
<laughs> it was basically like a whole room full of people. And it was packed. And the guy even said, like, there was an intro video of the guy who assembles these because there's a curator for, for cat videos. He says, uh, welcome to, uh, you know, our, our eighth annual uh, cat video fest. Um, the This is easily the most popular thing we show here at the um, at the C uh, movie theater complex. And it's like, really? Wow, really? Like, you guys show documentaries. You have people like Jacques Cousteau's son get up and talk about things and then show footage of, you know, <laughs> diving down the Titanic or something. Yeah. And, um, uh, and this is the most popular thing they have there. So Wild. That's uh, wild to pretty me. Pretty much. Like, you know, that says something the, more about people than them, right? It kind of does. Yeah. Oh, for sure. It definitely says more about about people and what they want to see. And the fact that it's like, uh, this is stuff that, I mean, all right. <laughs> I, I, will, I will say, again, the experience of seeing this in a theater on a big screen with a room full of people who are kind of, we're all kind of laughing at the same things, does elevate the material quite a bit sure, because otherwise sure. if i were scrolling through on instagram and these came up i'd be like oh, that's cute that's cute oh i showed tina that one look at that one right there but there's something that is kind of funny about the shared experience with a large group yeah and, you get uh, a bunch you get a room full of people laughing hard it's different yeah. it's a different yeah, thing totally than, is. than you sitting on the and, toilet um, on tiktok or something yeah and yeah, this was uh, 90 minutes of of those videos, and it's like you know the the little kitten that's so chubby and and disoriented that it sees a fly, and it its first instinct is to raise its arms like it's gonna pounce, and then it falls backwards on its back and wah, 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 and stuff like that. <laughs> is any of this and, narrated? Uh, is it just just a, a roll of of these videos? It is like... a roll of these videos. The only narrated ones are the ones where people provide the narration, like this is my cat, and this is the dumb things that my cat does. Like it zoomies around the house, and da da da. Yeah, but um, I would a hundred percent go to this. I would go to yes. this, no yes. problem. And you know what? It absolutely Jay Funktastic nails it because cat videos are great and help people forget how goddamn awful life is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, plus this will help during the writer strike where nobody can it write. It kind of will. Yeah, no writers uh, were harmed in the making of the Cat Video Fest 2023. No, no scab cats um, crossed the line no, or anything exactly. like that. There was no writing whatsoever, but um oh, yeah, it's pretty really, wild. Really that's funny. a thing. I I mean that's the funnier mystery dates, I guess, is who knew this was even a thing. Now you know it's a thing. Exactly. Now do you ever worry you guys thing. are going to run out like you're out you're going to you're going to outdate each other and like you're going to find out well shit, we're all out of cool stuff. We got to go no. to France or something. No. No, not even a little bit. Like there I feel like I've got ideas for miles. Mm. And um yeah, no there's there's always going to be something. And we're we're fine with the repeats as long as there's a new element added to the repeat. Like there's this place called the um Upstairs Circus. And you go in there, and they've got craft tables set up and a bar. And you basically choose from a half dozen of their their included, you know, the, the crafts that they will give you all the supplies for. Oh, craft, like, not cra I'm thinking craft, craft beer for some reason. Crafts. Okay. Like, the stuff yeah, you craft, make, you're going to make a craft, crafts. right? Okay. Exactly. Yep. Um, here, I will put a link for, I'll just put a link in the chat, and then sure. you can grab that link. Um but yeah, you, you basically get everything that you need to make stuff, like a leather flask or a um, a print that looks like it's made from pieces of cut newspaper and magazine or a, um, a little wooden tool carrier unit thing. I mean, it's like all these different things. And, uh, and then you drink while you do it and you chat with new people that are sitting at this, you know, eight person table across from you and, you know, you're hammering shit to a, to a, <laughs> a bottle opener and you're having a great drink and you're talking to cool people. It's, it's actually really cool. I would totally do this. This looks like yeah. fun. It's really fun. Like it is, uh, it is such a great little social social thing and so as long as you know we've done that before for a mystery date but there's always new things you can do there like they're always introducing new projects and um uh so it's not like even if you go there two months you know uh, two months in a row yeah. you'll still be able to do different things you'll have a different experience because you're you're doing different things that's are cool. you looking at the page that has all of the um yeah all the these little... crafts these are amazing yeah 
I'm the absolutely... steel marquee letter with the lights in it is so cool. The uh, oh, I want this a to be butcher near board, us. distressed wood art. I mean, there's so many. There's things I look at in this list like, oh yeah, you know, I hope uh, Tina picks this for a mystery date sometime soon because I wouldn't mind going and making one of these. And they've got multiple locations, but nothing too near me. You're the closest one to me. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. But I would do this in a heartbeat. There might be yeah. something equivalent here. I'd have to look because people are into crafts here, man. This is like craft oh, town sure. city. So for there's sure. got to be some equivalent, but that's awesome. Love it. So yeah, no, no, no shortage of um, of mystery dates uh, on the horizon. Uh, we also went to a concert. Uh, we saw a band called Yacht Rock Review. This was a band that I interviewed for Coverville um, in early 2020 or late 2019, right before COVID, and um, interviewed the lead singer. We talked all about cover songs and yacht rock and all that sort of thing. And he says, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna set you up with uh, tickets at Will Call for our show, which is in February, you know, February 2020 at the Mission Ballroom." I'm like, great, awesome. Yeah. So um, we go there. I get over to Will Call. I say, "Hey, I'm Brian Nibbit here to pick up some tickets." They say, mm, "Nope." Would it be under any other name? I'm like, um, "Coverville." Nope, not finding it there. Uh, maybe under just Brian. Um, nope, not finding it. And so I try reaching out to the guy to see if, you know, what's going on. And uh, um, they couldn't, they never found the tickets. And then apparently they forgot to put them in for us. Yeah. So they said, that's all right. We're coming back in uh, in August. We'll do it again. And of course, COVID hit. No, no August concert. Uh, so this was their first time back to Denver since COVID. So they made sure I had tickets for this one. That's but great. Everybody there wearing captain's hats and, and, uh, um, and you got a your... lot of people fully dressed up like freaking gopher. <laughs> Love <it. laughs> really? A lot of gopher yeah. in there? White shorts. I mean, basically, it was like a lot of white <laughs> shorts and white button ups with captain's uh, uh, bars on them or captain or uh, what do they call those? Uh, ap- appellates? Ap- appellates? Oh, the little, whatever um, yeah. Uh, whatever those are. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Name. And then captain's hats and stuff like that. So that's great. That's <laughs> yeah. great. And you on FilmSack, you'd mentioned some of the music, but we're talking like. Yeah. You know, Christopher Toto, Cross, Toto. Kenny Loggins, yeah. Michael McDonald, Christopher Cross. Uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that's the one. That is like what I figure. What I kind of consider the the number one yacht rock song is that. Uh, uh, what is it? It's Doobie Brothers. He came from somewhere back in the long ago. Um, but of who believes of yeah, yeah that's what i consider <laughs> to be like the the ultimate yacht rock song and uh <laughs> no they didn't do that they didn't do sailing but they did do ride like the wind which that's is cool. another christopher cross one yeah christopher cross i think is a staple of yacht rock but um only one song that surprises me it surprised me when you told us that i thought there'd be more yeah that. two toto songs you could probably guess which two toto songs they did because yeah. yeah. i have a hard time naming the third toto song yeah i can barely name I barely named the second one after Africa. I mean, Africa just jumps out in my head, but but uh, what's the other one? I can't even think of it. Uh, Rosanna. Oh, Rosanna! Shit. Yeah, the guy the guy behind us insisted that it was called Roxanne, and so he kept yelling, <laughs> "Roxanne, say <Hey>, Roxanne!" <laughs> like he thinks Wrong he's band, dude. Concert. Yeah, yeah, you're not the, a you're not a yacht the, rock song. This is not the this no. is not the police cover band, you weirdo. Who knew? That's yeah. great. Uh, what a fun you had a fun hold the weekend. line is a good one rebel scum and that if you are going to name a third Toto song that is the one you name is hold the line love isn't always on time I always think there's someone else doing that song I don't know why yeah it just doesn't feel like a Toto song to me but whatever oh. uh, I see you they did do it again by Steely Dan I'd say that's a that's an okay Yacht Rock song but I feel like Hey 19 and Peg are much more Yacht Rocky yeah. than um then uh, do it again. That's cool. <laughs> and to yeah. just balance things out, Rebel Scum saw Fifty Cent last night. There you go. Good. That now I feel like the world is the world is in order. That guy's recent appearance on various talk shows, in particular uh, Stephen Colbert show, has changed mm-hmm. my entire my entire world around what I thought of Fifty Cent before now. Yeah, that guy yeah. is funny as hell. Really? Super. Wow. Af- he's super chill and self effacing. And it's not what I thought I was going to get from, I mean, maybe it's just, you know, like Snoop's a, a softer dude than he was in the late 80s. Maybe this just happens to rappers, sure. but 50 Cent seems yeah, like they, the nicest they, guy. They mellow like a fine wine with age. Yeah. That's basically what happens. Something about him right now. I just really like 
Well, anyway, you had a good we- you had a good weekend. That was a banner it was a very weekend. Good weekend. We had a really good time. It was a, a great uh, great everything. Great show. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a blast. Was my a wife, time. the whole time this weekend, has been 45 minutes away watching my sister-in-law's kids while they're okay. in Croatia on some yacht. All oh, right? wow. Because his okay, boss... So they're having their own yacht rocking. Yes. <laughs> and his boss is some hoity-toit who's got this yacht out there, and so that's where they went for this trip. So we're, she's over there watching their six children. Mm. Sorry, five. One is in college. Wow. Um, five kids at home. And so Kim is over there playing Auntie Kim. So it's been yeah. just me and Carter at home. Here's what we did this weekend. We binged uh-huh. two straight seasons of what we do in the shadows and played Starfield. That's what we did. <laughs> nice. And let me nice. just make a recommendation to you people at home. Both those things sound great, and they are. I loved, uh, in particular, season. So we have one seat. We have to do five. So we were behind. We did three and four is what we binged. Mm-hmm. Uh, I loved season four. Started weird. Yeah, a, Which one's ba- season four? a banger season. It's the one where Colin Robinson, let's just say, is in a different. Oh zone. yes, okay, yeah. Which um, which happens at the very end of season three, right? It's correct. Like the, it's the, yeah, the, cliffhanger. the cliffhanger. Season three. Have not seen season four or five yet. So oh, you'd love we're four, two dude. Back. You gotta yeah. watch four. Anyway, oh, four yeah, four was incredible. Believe. And wait till you get to the HGTV, uh, the Home and Garden TV ripoff thing they do. <laughs> really? Oh, oh great. I thought awesome. I was gonna. I thought I was gonna die. But anyway, <clears throat> we, we've been binging that, and then when I'm not binging that, uh, I stayed offline. I stayed off social media for the most part. Wow. Other than Film Sack, I really kind of stayed away from my computer, and I just played a ton of of Starfield, which I'm completely hooked on. But I don't recommend doing these two things in large volume, because then you'll have some of the weirdest dreams you've ever had. Yeah, my sure. dreams were a mix of vampire stuff and space travel and it was just a wrong combo, and it all felt funky. And I couldn't even describe to you now, after the dreams are over, what yeah. happened. I just know none of it felt good. So, like that uncomfortable feeling, like you wake up and it's like, well, that wasn't a very satisfying sleep. Totally. It's like, yeah. I, and I probably Space did vampires, sleep. damn it. <laughs> yeah, and I probably did sleep, probably fine. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But it didn't feel like I did, and it was weird. But anyway, that's what happens when you like do nothing but two really focused things for uh, you know a three-day weekend basically yeah, and that's kind of yeah. what we did um but anyway it was fun carter and i hanging out little dad daughter right. time and then kim will get here's the worst part kim gets back tonight that's the worst part no that's not the worst part sorry oh, okay, i yeah. should have i should have prefaced this <laughs> she gets back tonight and then she leaves tomorrow at 11 o'clock. i'll be on the show probably still when she leaves uh she's going to mississippi for a oh, week wow. For to oh, help her right, sister, her yeah. other sister with yeah. some stuff. I don't know why my my wife helps everyone else. No one helps her, but she helps everybody. So Nobody she's gonna go. Her. She's gonna go down there. Uh, oh, it's, it's, no, no, it's not. They're helping. It's Sarah's birthday. What am I thinking? So she's going oh, down there okay. for Sarah's birthday, oh. and then she comes back. Then she's here for a little bit, and then she almost immediately goes to Nashville for, or no, St. George for a sibling getaway. And there's wow. a whole sad reason why that's happening immediately. Uh, I don't want to get into it on the okay. show. Yeah. Um, but then after that's done, she gets back. And then for a very short amount of time, she's here. And then she's off to Nashville for a whole other thing, which I don't even know the deal behind. It's just a whole thing. And then Jeez. after that, well, uh, there was something else. Maybe that's it. I might get to see my wife once this month or something. <laughs> That's crazy! Wow, Jeez. I know I don't love it. It's, yeah. it's kind of. Tina and I. Me I mean, basically, we've got a little little situation similar. I mean, very you know much less. I'm going to Vegas Sunday for three days, and then I come back. We've got about four days, and then she goes off to Estes Park for three days. So, um, for about a week and a half, we'll have only we'll only see each other in the the double stuff filling of that week but, but the <laughs> opposite sides of that she'll be gone and i'll be gone i like oreo as a as a reference for time as a reference space. as, a, as yeah. a metaphor we all know what it means right yeah, we know, I know the what double stuff filling yeah, yeah i miss those i don't eat those anymore and those between are... those like right in the middle of that i've got the great american beer fest oh my gosh and we're, we're gonna she and i are gonna be volunteering together on the the friday pouring beer for chumps and then saturday i'll be volunteering as a drinker and uh drinking beer uh Oh, that's right. You're going to be drinking as a Crazy drinker neighbor. and then yeah, serving so, as a server. and then. Uh... So I don't care what happens. We are not doing film sack on, <laughs> on the Sunday 
after I get back from Vegas. That yeah. will that will not be good. We don't care what pinch we're in. Brian will not be there. All right. Yeah, I won't be there. Don't, may, don't even. Think... Don't even. I'm not even. Don't even count on me. I feel like every year we 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 try to make sure that you don't record yeah, that day because yeah. you shouldn't have to record that day. Oh it's... well, I mean, there's. I would be useless. Like it would be. <laughs> yeah. It'd be the worst thing ever. People would not find it enjoyable. You got to recoup. You know, from the yeah, fun. Exactly. One final thing before we get to Babel Royale, or uh, rather uh, half-asses today, and that is this. Uh, dude in our community, Wooj Man, uh, super cool guy and really smart guy, uh, modified a, a a ROM. You know Tecmo Bowl for the, for the, for the oh, NES? Remember that. You remember that game? Yeah. yeah. So he took Tecmo Bowl and he, not hacked it, it's not the right word, but he, he modified the ROM so that it's loaded up with frog pants themed teams and players uh so like oh, that's cool you can have scott johnson be your quarterback for the you know philadelphia fart nuggets or whatever the names are <laughs> um and he's changed all this stuff in there so that they're all it's all like super frog pants re referential stuff and um put a bunch of patrons from core and play retro in there and that kind of thing yeah anyway i've been horribly slow about doing this part of my weekend was forgetting to do this but um I'm going to later today park this ROM up in a place where everybody can get it, and uh, we're just going to spread it around. Let everybody have have at it. You know, play nice. it, download it, play it on an NES ROM emulator of your of your choice. Burn it to your own cartridge if you want. We don't care. Um, but he's awesome. Did an incredible thing there, and he also gave me. Uh, if anybody wants to throw this dude a bone, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Oh, here it is. Uh, tiny.cc slash frog pants football is a little uh, donation thing he set up. So if anyone's just oh, feeling generous, cool. you want to throw him a couple bucks, uh, please do. Uh, but anyway, I will make sure that's up today. I've been trying to do it since Thursday and I completely spaced it. So that's going up. Watch for that. And Wooj Man is awesome. He's a cool that's dude. That's super cool. Nice. So watch. I'll, I'll post links and stuff and put it in the Discord and all that. So you guys will see it soon. All right, Brian, let's move yes, on to okay. the thing. Oh, you know what? Dunaway's involved, so probably should add him to this. We should probably bring in Dunaway for yeah. this. Did he log in? Do you know? Did we see? Oh, did I log in is the big question. Uh, oh, it says. Is, oh, oh, I haven't run. Oh. Let me, both are logged in. You're both. We're both in. Okay. Did I'm it get all goofy there? Yeah, but that was. Yeah, you're both in. I don't know what that was. All right, opening. Okay, did it work? It did. Yay! All right, uh, we'll add Dunaway to the call, and then we'll play this thing, because why not? We're going to try to win some prizes yeah. from some of you weirdos. <laughs> Welcome, Brian Dunaway, to the show. Hi, Brian. Oh, hi, Scott and Brian. Hi. Hello. Haven't seen How you are since you Saturday. Guys? Real good, real good. That was fun Saturday. We had a good show. It was, it was on Sunday. We did Sunday, I mean, Sunday. because <laughs> y'all were kind enough. <laughs> oh, that's right. We did that for you. Didn't we? You did, did that for me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because never Friday again. Poop. <laughs> never, ever never again. again until never next again. week. <laughs> yeah. We've learned our lesson. <laughs> uh, no, that was a really good uh, discussion about a movie that had, turns out we had some division in the uh, yeah. show. Yeah. You guys had yes. some really good opinions. Mine were weak. I didn't realize how weak they were until we started. I was like, oh, I should have form stronger opinions geez yeah. <laughs> you know, i didn't wait well, i didn't know watch the, the, the flash from 2023 by the way people listening i, I oh, didn't yeah, realize right. I, did say, yeah and i don't want to the damn movie i don't want to you know ruin anything or spoil anything but uh too late let's just say randy found a new oscar contender for 2023 let's just say yeah that. the the, the words hearing him say oscar uh <laughs> really <laughs> threw me uh <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, something. But hey, you know, we all like what we like, and uh, he apparently really liked yeah, it. Yeah, that one surprised so. me. In terms of division within the crew, it it surprised mm. me most since what, like Minority Report, probably. Oh my gosh, that yeah. much? I don't know if it was. It maybe not that much. Okay, yeah, maybe not that much. You and I are about ready to go to blows on that episode. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was so weird. Uh, and anyway, it's good to have you here. We're going to play a little game. We got people to play for, so we're going to do a little proxy play, and yeah. Brian here will explain the rules. Oh, How's it work, Brian? Proxy! Uh, welcome to the morning half asses, a trivia game where I'm actually going to be giving you two the answers. I'm going to give Scott and Brian a category and six possible answers. Three of those answers are correct, and three of them are like Randy's opinion about The Flash. Totally bullshit. <laughs> no, Depending no, on no, how no, confident... <laughs> 
kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Depending on how confident they feel with the category, they can provide one, two, or three guesses. But if they get any of those guesses wrong, they get zero points for that round. Get one right gets you a point. Get two right gets you three points. And if you get all three correct, you get five points for that round. Okay. The player with the most points after three rounds wins the prize for their contestant. And we're pulling contestants for members of the tadpool that aren't able to listen live. Scott, you're playing for Chris in Chicagoland. Chris Hesselink Woo. in Chicagoland. Uh, Brian, you're playing for Joe in Irvine, California. Oh, Joe. Speaking of Randy, perfect. That's right. The home exactly. team. Yep. Uh, look at this. All right. Fun stuff here. And I feel like each of you have an advantage in one of these. Oh, questions. okay. Um, you say so. this all the time and every time it's and like, it's it always he's so full it never, of bullshit. It right? never pans out. Well, let's start with the one Scott might have an advantage with. I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, it, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It'll all make right. itself we'll uh, clear. All right. Uh, all right. Your first category states larger in area than Utah. So which of these states... <laughs> Is larger in I area. I love that you think than Utah. because Scott lives because Utah. it's Utah. Yeah, he, exactly. knows, <laughs> he knows more he knows about the area. I do of other states. states. I do well, like yeah. my. I like my state. Jesus. I'll admit. You do um, like your state. And I think your I choices this. are Washington, Arizona, Florida, Nevada, Oregon. I read these out of order. Washington, Arizona, Nevada, Oregon, Florida, Georgia. Okay. I was hoping Texas would be on here. That's an three easy of one. those. That kind of would be an obvious one, wouldn't it? If yeah. I would put Texas in there. Um, all Texas. Right. Pretty Texas. sure that one and that one. Let me make sure in my head that I that's correct. Be able to see the fine print on these. There's cars. one that's oddly shaped and makes me wonder: is it deceptively in? Is it deceptive in size? You I'm live sure. in a state that's oddly shaped. Uh, you know, we it's live in the pie shaped. State. How is mine that? Is, how is that is an nice odd rectangle. shape? Perfect, perfect shape for a state yeah, yeah. rectangle. Don't no, I rectangle. agree. We should have done more of those. Boy, you know yeah. what sucks is finding out why Oklahoma has that weird topper thing. I mm, found that out yeah. this weekend. That's a bummer yeah. reason. That that panhandle, yeah. Yeah, yes. everyone thinks, oh, the panhandle, that's cool. What what's the, what goes there? What's the point of that? No, it turns out it's got some serious racist uh, history. It's really bad. <laughs> it totally does. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Brian, uh, are you done Googling? Are you going to lock in? There we go. Finally. Okay. I can't just look at the words without being accused of Googling. Like I got time to Google. You cannot. All right. States larger in area than uh, than Utah. You both went with Arizona. Arizona is correct. Yeah, Arizona is the sixth largest of our states. Um uh, you chose, uh, let's see, Scott, you chose Nevada as well. Nevada is larger than uh, than Utah. Mm -hmm. uh, however, your other two choices, Washington and Florida, oh. were wrong. Oregon, believe it or not, what? is larger in area than Utah. Utah is number 10. Uh, Arizona, Nevada, 6 and 7, and Oregon is number 9. Crap. I knew. Oh, I thought Florida maybe was deceptive because it's. A wiener, you know, it's all hanging it is, out it weird. Is weirdly shaped. Yeah, yes, it is that's what I was shaped. curious too. That's what I think. Same thing I was thinking. Is yeah, it Florida, believe it or not, is the twenty-second largest state. No. Washington's even bigger than Florida at eight, number eighteen on the list, and Georgia all the way down at number twenty-four. Again, <laughs> another one that I thought is um, uh, was was uh, was bigger, but no. You know what's no. bigger than you think is um, uh, the one I always don't give enough credit to is Montana. That thing's a beast. It is a beast. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think yeah. that is number three. What is it? Texas, Alaska, Montana? Then Montana. Then maybe California. Or is California? They might. Uh, oh, California might be bigger than Montana. And that yeah. one's also deceptive because it's long like Florida. And I don't know. The yeah. ones I the ones all I screw right. up on are all the East Coast shit. If you said what are the smallest, <laughs> I would lose this tomorrow. Right, right now. Right. I'd lose it. Yeah, it would right. be done. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's all right. Let's get that one out of the way. Uh, how about, um, you know, you both love your basketball. Uh, what were some of the original names originally considered for the Boston Celtics? Your choices are. Where do you get these questions? The Blasts, the Unicorns, the Olympians, the Beans, the Whirlwinds, and the Picts. Oh, my God. Which of these were originally considered for the Boston uh, Celtics? See, this is bullshit because I bet every one of these was considered for some dumb reason, whether or not they're chronicled or not. It's like, well, uh, and sure. I can't it's Google like, it, by the way. Like I'm not. Schwarzenegger was. Was, was originally right. considered for this role kind of considered yeah. sure sure oh my gosh dude i don't know this yeah. i don't know either um, but don't don't look don't wait for two seconds or you'll get yeah, you <laughs> looking at google <laughs> I got uh, the blast the unicorns google. the olympians the beans the whirlwind whirlwinds and the picts so these were there's three of these for sure right three of these for sure yeah 
All right. That one yeah, seems like it might be. That one sounds dumb. I'm going to lose anyway, so I'm just going to go. Mm, that's dumb. Um, I'm going for it. I don't know. That one's so dumb, it's got to mm, be right. Right. <laughs> it's got to be. Yeah, I'm just doing it too. I'm a chicken. All the two. rest of those All are right. too weird. All right. Well, um, Brian, uh, you actually ended up selecting both of the incorrect wrong answers. answers. <laughs> two of the two of the three wrong ones. Um, and so did Scott, unfortunately. Oh, Beans shit. was never considered uh, for the original name of the was never I had to choose it. So oh! I had to choose it. Oh, the whirlwinds and the Olympians both I was were gonna do the the Olympians. The unicorns. Oh, the Boston Unicorn. What? Uh, That's terrible. insane. Yeah. I thought that was a. I thought that was bait. I only. I, like I barely chose beans at the last second. I shouldn't have done it. Why was I being? Yeah, I chose beans I right wondering. away. Yeah. Frick. Yeah, you get to. Watch I don't even know what a pick is. So I was like, sure. Yeah. What is a pick? I know it's a. Fo- it's a uh, image <laughs> format. <laughs> It's an Isn't old one. there a little rodent called a picked? Oh, I don't know. No, but I almost picked blast. So I almost picked all the wrong ones. Yeah. I, that's what I was debating on. The yeah, these are. Blast. I didn't, I didn't know any forget. of this stuff. I, I don't even know if, like, yeah. if you're a hardcore Celtics fan, do you even know this? I don't know. What's hard? Yeah, what is what is a picked? Uh, anyway, all right. Well, let's get to question number three. Maybe one of you guys can get some points on this one. Um, rappers. This is the one I thought maybe Brian will have an advantage of. Uh, <laughs> Rappers whose real first name is Robert. So which of these rappers has the real first name Robert? Is it RZA or RZA, Flo Rida, Meek Mill, Gucci Mane, Rev Run, and Vanilla Ice? Which three of these have the real first name Robert? Oh my gosh. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there, I clicked in really quick so that... Ibit would not have any question about my. Uh, oh, I know you totally locked in quick. <laughs> right, my. I only know one. Okay. <laughs> both of you. Did we? Only did know we? One, I only knew one. Chose, I knew it right away. One. <laughs> yeah, Robert yeah, Van Winkle, knows that of one. course. Yeah. It was, uh, vanilla Ice. Gosh damn. Uh, it. The other choice is RZA and uh, Meek Mill. Both have the real first name. I Robert. almost went Meek Mill, but what good is that? Never do? even heard of like Meek saying Mill. I almost. One, but I uh, didn't. Flo Rida's, uh, yeah. Uh, Flo Rida's first name is Tremar. Uh, Gucci means. So is his last name is... Flo, Flo Rider? Is that right? Yeah. Robert Tremar Flo, Flo Rida. Middle name Flo. Yeah, last right. name Rida. Uh. Uh, Gucci Mane is Radrick and Reverend Run, Reverend Run. His name is Joseph. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we got to bring out uh, the tiebreaker cards. Reverend Run had that's a... Joseph. Was, Run. That's another J because they had a Jam Master J. T- or no, they had a. D- was DJ MC. Jazzy? No shit. Yeah, it was DJ Jazzy Jeff. Now I see why Ibit gave me the advantage on that one. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I see why now. I never. I don't yeah. even know who Meek Mill is. I've never even heard of him. That's news. Anyway, yeah, that's that's yeah. what I used to grind up my Meek to put it on my uh, steaks before yeah. I put them on the grill. <laughs> the Meek Mill. The Meek Mill. All right, let's give you guys a um uh a uh, a tiebreaker here. Uh, let's um, call it in the air, Brian. Uh, let's see. Call, call what in the air? I'm going to give you heads or tails. We'll <laughs> okay. Make, this is heads. Okay. And then this is tails. All right. I believe you. That will hurt my hand. Yeah. Uh, Hold a minute. Okay, Hold a minute. Call, yeah. Wait a minute. I got to Google call what's it. the odds. Hold on a second. <laughs> call it. What's the odds? <laughs> call it. Tails. Tails. Heads it is. Scott will no, get to give bitch. the answer on this All one. All right. Let's do and it. And Brian, you'll do higher or lower. Um, listen, if you've been paying attention, uh, you know that Bob Barker died. Well, how many years did Bob Barker host The Price is Right? How many oh, this is he... fun because it's such a Price is Right thing to do, right? It really is, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. But I will let you go over. So if you do get it wrong, but you go over, it's totally fine. Uh, Scott, how many years did Bob Barker host The Price is Right? Okay. We just heard this in that Letterman clip, but did I remember? Did. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we was talking about his retirement. <clears throat> yep. Um, I'm gonna say, my my brain wants me to say forty dead, like, <laughs> like average forty. So I'm gonna say forty. <laughs> forty. All right. Uh, forty is incorrect. Brian, what is, is the correct answer? Higher or lower than forty? Well, I mean, for God's sakes, he was already older, right? He was like like thirty something. So I'm gonna say it was less, but only by like two. Uh, Guys, do, if I guess it right, like 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 completely, oh, it doesn't matter. Thirty eight. Okay, uh, go ahead. Thirty eight. Yeah, you are. Uh, it is lower. You're really close. Five years lower than Scott's Bad guess. Enough. It was thirty five years. By the way, Bob Barker was a member of the Sioux tribe. He was raised on a South Dakota reservation. 
What? Sue, yeah. take that. Bob Barker. Bob Barker. <laughs> Bob, Bob Barker. Wait that a minute. White, what? That white guy on, on the show. Yeah. Is yes. he like the Dances with Wolves have lady? Your, the the have your Buffalo Spade and Neuter. The John uh, Dunbar lady? Yes. The the what was her name? John John Dunbar. <laughs> the the white lady raised on a is that what that is? John Dunbar. Yeah. yeah. What why though? Why is a white I why is a pasty, pasty white guy getting raised on a reservation? What's is funny he, is I don't remember any of this like and, and hearing any of you know when he passed away right um i think the story goes his uh his mom lost him at the grocery store and that's the- <laughs> and now he lives there. i need to know uh, born in darren washington darrington washington spent most of his youth on the rosebud indian reservation in mission south dakota the u.s indian census sanctuary rolls- 85 to 94 he lists barker as a citizen of the rosebud sioux tribe is he is but is he like that's is he related to uh, let's see um his father was one quarter sioux and his mother non-native barker was one eighth sioux okay yeah. okay well, his mother was a school teacher on the reservation i did so. you know oh, what? that's the read there you go his mother was a school teacher on the reservation because had you why. had you done a question brian where it was like three correct answers about where he was <laughs> right. raised i would have got this yeah, so right. wrong so wrong right yeah no kidding that's wild to me <laughs> all right that, that's all right well so congratulations going to joe in irvine california joe. long long hard battle but uh brian and uh finally pulled woo. it out the end there yeah nicely done uh, dude you, you know, robert van winkle you uh, rocked it huh? i also looked up the uh so the picked format i remember yes. this uh it was an early mac uh image format oh, yeah. and uh let's see ap- applications was- such as quick draw and that kind of stuff you create picked files so i remember that yeah what was um but picked that can't be I the reason. do with ba- ba- uh, basketball, basketball, right? That's what I was trying yeah. to figure there, out. What was it basketball? Is rodent or some sort of animal that's a picked? Let's see. Disambiguation. We got... Disambiguation. Uh, programming language. There's the image format, obviously. Let's see what else. Uh, classical theater. Oh, Pittsburgh Irish and classical theater. Or is, is Pitt for short? Although that doesn't make... Oh, okay. picked for short. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, Pakistan International Container Terminal. <laughs> I don't see anything on here. There's nothing about a. It just feels right. Yeah, yeah. I can't find an animal or a bug. All right. All right. Well, there well, you go. Uh, oh, done away. Native TV's Travis says natives of Scotland. I think you guys actually did say that, but I don't know. Sorry, I was in the middle of doing a show. Yeah. And couldn't. Uh... A podcast that requires <laughs> our focus. Uh, well, right. uh, well done. Oh, let's see. He, he has a link. Let's look at the link. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like it's. Uh, uh, it's a group of people who lived in Britain North. Okay, but no okay. bugs, no bugs, no bugs, no rodents. No, okay. that's surprising. I don't know. It sounds right. I mean, I guess other than, other than just a lot of uh, a lot of Scots and Irish people living in Boston, that's the uh, the only. You can almost right? hear Attenborough going, and the male picked dances for the females. Bleh. Like I can hear, I can yeah. hear the old man talking about picks. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, right. Dunaway, you did it. You won. How do you feel about your win? I, I feel pretty good. I was having a, you know, a questionable uh, a slump. Bl- a slump? Bl- yeah, a little slump, a little slumpy morning. And I was like, yeah, this is oh, what good. I needed. It makes me feel good. Thank well, you for that, uh, for taking one for the team. That's Scott. great. Yeah. Always take one for the team. I yeah, say the frog pant picks. Yeah, frog pant picks. Get yours today. Dot XXX. All right. Dunaway, kiss our butts. Bye. All right. He's gone. <laughs> Oh my god. Might gosh. have some of some of there of uh not Juliana Margulies. What was her name? Uh Margolis. Cindy Margolis. Cindy Margolis. Mar- you might be able to download a pic of Cindy Margolis. Yeah, that's she's she's OG, man. OG pick. She's still around. <laughs> she's still uh I'm sure she is. Cindy I'm sure Margolis. She is. Let's take a look here. Cindy. Oh, it's Margolis. it'll be about I'll have a photo of her downloaded in about uh, 18 minutes. <laughs> so I'll be able say. to tell you if she's doing all right. Yeah, it'll be a 256 color GIF. Um Let's see, American Glamour, but she's still around, still doing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, she's only born in '65. She's not even that old. No. No. Um, but when oh, we she were... was on Baywatch, I really did not know that she was on Baywatch, and that's where. Is that how she got her big fame? I guess that must be how she got her how, how she got her fame. Her and Yasmin Bleef. Oh, that's right. Baywatch Nights. She was in that. Oh, um, was that it? Okay, so maybe that was Baywatch Nights was her jam. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Oh yeah, she was yeah. one of the. Uh, she was the head uh, robot fem f- fembot. Yep, yep. The head robot fembot. Robot fem. Yeah, robot fem. Weren't there some feminine <laughs> robots in Austin Powers called fem something? <laughs> fem somethings. Sharknado three. Oh hell no, she was in that. 
okay. That's the, the subtitle for Sharknado 3 was Oh Hell No. Yeah. Which uh, is what I say. I'm sure. Uh, That's what I, I say about sorry. watching it. I will not be watching Sharknado 3. No. Oh Hell No, I would say. All right, let's get to some quick news items. Uh, if I can find the thing. It's your daily dose of news brought to you by... A bra in the gutter. Yeah, I found a bra in the gutter. Um, I didn't touch it. I just picked it up with a stick and looked at it. It was a black, uh, medium-sized bra. Probably a... Because. But you still poked that with a stick. You just didn't leave it. Yeah, I just left it. I know I left it there because I was like, "What oh. is that thing?" And I was like, "It's kind of near the drain. What is this?" I poke it. I lift it up. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a freaking bra. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if it's still there today. If it is, I'll throw it away. I'm but... gonna tell the the homeowners association about this. Yep, <laughs> you're gonna see me in all the local papers. <laughs> local man finds bra in gutter. Yep, more Lifts than eleven it with stick. Uh, check this story out. A human skull was found at a Goodwill, uh, mm. but they don't think there was no. any uh, foul play at all. They just think there's like it was like in a science class or something like that. Somehow it made its way to a guild, uh, a, oh, a yeah. Goodwill donation box in Arizona. Oh, a donation box. So somebody just shoved it in there with their dungarees and their garanimals and yep. stuff. They probably didn't even know it was real. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, if you did know it was real, if I had a real human skull, I would hold yeah. on to that. I think that's cool. Like it didn't need to be legal. I don't want to like have a clandestine murder victim head skull. I don't want that. But if it's somebody who donated right. it to science and somehow got in my hands, I would keep that skull is what I would do. Oh, for sure. It's yeah. too cool. When yeah, I was I mean, a kid, I wanted a skeleton so bad, like a full size one. Yeah. So bad. I have one, but still do. I mean, it's still, Oh, you do. That's right. You do have one. Yeah. He's over there looking at me. It's got a skull. So there you go. You just want a real skull as your, yeah. as your desire. No plastic, no crystal real. <laughs> you know nice he's nice. wearing patrick's scarf that patrick gave me in 2015 oh that's cool yeah so he looks really really warm <laughs> before patrick had kids and got really really grumpy um, <laughs> Did he? Did he no, get really he's grumpy? so grumpy now he's the grumpiest person Aww. i know he's so grumpy and it's not just kids i think he's just he's just yeah. old french guy grump yeah yeah I think that's what's sure. going on uh, anyway, this human skull is found there. Uh, cops aren't worried about it. It's probably not the strangest item ever donated either, but employees at a thrift store in Phoenix uh, uh, didn't know what they had when they looked at this human skull in their donation box. They called police because they thought it was real. Officers responded to the store in Goodyear. That must be a place. Goodyear, a, Indiana? No, Goodyear. Arizona. But Arizona. This, yeah. Is it, it Goodyear? Oh, this is this is the star, isn't this the ending up? Oh, it is the it's the Phoenix one. Okay. Phoenix Star. Goodyear, Arizona, huh? Yeah. Never heard of it. Okay. No, the Phoenix Sun I've been to. I didn't know there was also a star. Yeah. Like, a I've heard of the paper or something. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe one of those ones you go to where they're both printing. Oh, this is the Toronto Star. Oh, they're just reporting. But they're still they're just reporting on Arizona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh it was covered in spots and had its upper teeth uh front teeth attached what does that mean aren't they always attached or do they fall well, out I mean, sometimes those can be broken out okay i mean, if it's damaged uh it also damaged has a false skull. eye in the left socket that'd be weird oh really so they actually had an eyeball in there yeah. Oh, yeah. fake one but still that freaks yeah me but out. still yeah i wouldn't like that even creepier i think <laughs> yeah i don't like it uh let's see the skull is transported to the maricopa county uh medical examiner office where authorities confirmed that this is in fact a real human skull it appears this human skull is historic and has no forensic significance meaning that there appears to be no associated crime they said it remains unclear who donated it or why they had it in the first place at least they can do dental record records since they have the uh <laughs> Oh, the yeah. top half. That's true. Of the teeth. So they at least do half dental records because it doesn't sound like the, the jaw was included. Yeah, and if it's really old, that would be a sign that they don't that it's definitely just a historic, you know, it's a relic. Because if it comes yeah. back negative or you know, they have no match, it'd be like, Oh well, you know, this is somebody who died a hundred years right. ago or something. Yeah. Um here's a fun one. A three legged the spots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The three-legged bear breaks into a Florida home. Not the a three-legged bear. The there's a <laughs> maybe there's more than one. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure there's more than one. Definitely. <laughs> I know there's some three-legged bears up in Idaho. If you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Three, three I know that's the only place you think there are bears. There are bears in Utah, Scott. I'm three. just letting you know three. those kind of bears. Yeah, but are they three-legged? If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, I'm Did sure there are. Yes. 
Uh, at least two of the big stand. <laughs> uh, the other part of this is it broke into the home and then drank White Claws. So that's cool. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are we still talking about a, a wild bear? Yeah, or? still a wild three-legged bear. <laughs> still, still the animal on all fours, but in this case on all threes. Uh, three-legged bear known as tripod. Oh, my gosh. This writes itself. This is amazing. Uh, broke into a home and decided to have a party. Uh, let's see. Oh, they got security camera notifications. White Claw doesn't sound like a party. No, it doesn't to me either. I'm not even, I, I don't drink, so I don't know what it even tastes like, but everyone I talk to yeah. is like, White Claw's not great. Am I wrong? Yeah. In, uh, is my, is my assumption like, uh, wrong, or do people really like it and I'm wrong? It's like the Coors of hard seltzers. Is that true? So it's like a um, what's like that one? The, no, you like Zima though. You're a Zima fan, right? Was well, it? yeah. When when it was around, I yeah. Mean, but you know, but you don't you don't take any crap when people say. And I like and I like Zima as a mixer. Well, I guess you could probably still use White Claw as a mixer, like a gin and White Claw. Yeah. What if I can order a gin and White Claw in a bar? I know White Claws are more. There's more alcoholic per, or more alcohol per volume, but I don't know how much more. Than more a than than a Zima. A Zima? Yeah. Oh, really? I think so. I think that's the whole thing is people are like, it's like having Zima back, except it's it'll get you drunk or something. I don't know. See, again, I'm so far from that, the world of White Claw consumption that I don't actually know any of this for sure. So 47 to 5.4% alcohol by volume in a Zima. Is that, Claw, is that considered low or high? I don't know what that is. That's, I mean, it's, it's, it's me, it's um, middle for a, mm. um, for like a, a beer. non like craft beer kind of thing. That's you know, three point two is is your beer kind okay. of thing. Okay. Um uh let's see. Alcohol by volume, international markets four point five, um, and then either eight percent or five percent US and Canada. Okay. So yeah, okay. a little bit more, a little bit higher percentage. Doesn't alcohol. seem like a lot though. Seems like not a lot, not a lot more. Yeah, no. it sounds like just a college kid talking point that Dude, pretty much there's, exactly there's so much it's more like, in this. <laughs> Yeah. You know, or that dumb laugh. It's like, that, uh, you know, in terms of your of your hard liquors, it's it's as high as sixteen proof. Whoa! <laughs> so that's how low it is. Whoa! Yeah, I think I have cooking wine here that might have more in it. Uh, you definitely do. Yes. Yeah. Don't drink that stuff. It's no, I don't, I don't. Kim just cooks meat with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't it's very it. salty. Is it a salt? I, think I didn't you tried a swig. That. You tried you tried a swig once, right? You talked about it on the show. I did, you, but I don't remember it being tried. salty. It was more like yeah. um earthy, like felt like dirt. I felt like yeah. I was eating dirt. Yeah. I didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, don't don't yeah, that's cooking wine is not meant for not meant for drinking. Is wine in general kind of tastes like you're eating soil a little bit? No, huh? Okay. No, wine is uh I mean a good wine should taste like um I don't know, like depending on the barrels that they fermented in like uh oaky or okay. a little bit sweet sometimes dry never yeah, it's pretty what about when they say earthy because sometimes they say earthy what does that mean? i mean they can it can taste like by, by earthy it shouldn't <laughs> taste like dirt maybe uh <laughs> i would hope not i don't want it to taste yeah. like dirt i'm just curious because when i took the, the, the like cooking... a like a really full body deep wine can have an earthy flavor to it but not taste like dirt okay does that make sense <laughs> yeah like uh yeah. but none of it like tastes a... like none of it tastes like straight it's not like grape it doesn't taste like grape juice right it's just a no 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 it doesn't taste like grape juice okay yeah. well no 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 shade to anyone who loves their wine i'm barry's probably listening look barry yeah. you do you uh, drink that wine. <laughs> Carry that weird box around with you everywhere you go. You know. That's right. Oh, I hope he brings. I wonder if he's going to bring it. Since it's only a three day trip, he's probably not bringing it to Vegas. Oh, He'll that's be true. Able to get so much. Yeah. Yeah, you won't need it. Oh man, I'm looking forward. Here's my here's my plan on Sunday. Uh, Tanner and Alex and Tristan and I all arrive around the same time. Barry arrives a little bit later. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna meet in the airport. Take a lift uh, to the plaza. Hopefully give them our bags to check in. We're going to get there kind of early, and then we're going to go to that brand new carousel bar in front and just sit back with a nice frosty beverage and watch the world go by. That is cool. I'm, yeah. I'm stoked for you. That's awesome. Maybe a ginormous donut from Pinkbox. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, why not? Fill yourselves up. Also, you know what you ought to do? You ought to go over to that, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Shoot. The new the Hilton, no, the huge Hilton thing that went in. Um, 
Resorts World. You need to go over there and oh, yeah. just spend some time there because apparently that place is a ghost town. There's all this talk that they're yeah. losing like a fifty million a day because no one's going wow. there. It's, and it's this beautiful, well, it's new, amazing it place. Is. It's gorgeous. And that and that Chinese like or the Asian um food hall is fantastic. Like there I want something from every single one of those restaurants in the food hall. Um and they're closing yeah, half sure. of those down is the word oh, I heard. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's just too inconvenient to get there is the problem. It's uh That's a bummer. You know, you've got to walk past uh the deserted landscape of of the uh, the South Strip. Yeah, that's the place that it's I'm sorry, in. The north of the North Strip. What am I talking about? The North Strip. Yeah, it's a location problem. And if they could fill all that other space, like when's that Durango done? That's getting close. The Durango. Yeah, the, could... I don't know about the Durango, but I'm curious about when the um, Fountain Fountain Blue. Let's see. Oh. Fountain Blue. Yeah, that other. I forgot about that one. I'm sure I'm, there it is. Fountain Blue, Las Vegas, coming 2023. Oh, might be done when you go. Uh, might uh, maybe delayed. Might, maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe there's like a, a soft opening or something we can go in there. They tore all those. Out. I don't know if you saw this. I was talking to Metzulo about it. They tore all the um uh, palm trees down that are out in front of the Bellagio, and they did oh, it for really? two reasons. One, uh, porn card flickers hide under there during the heat. <laughs> Uh-huh. That's the word anyway. I don't know if this is the real reason, but the other reason is for the F1 thing because they got to make room to oh, do right. stuff. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, because that's a prime uh, location for uh, for uh, spectators, for These sure. These are like 30-year-old palm trees. They just tore them out. That sucks. In the middle of the night. Just pull, pull them out. Now there's no yeah. shade there. It all looks weird. It looks weird. It's like there are no strikers there, uh, no sag strikers that they need to put out in the heat. Yeah, no kidding. Well, that anyway, is a bummer. Uh, yeah, no, it does not look like um, we have a grand opening date yet for Fontainebleau. Uh, but I also want to find a good place to uh, to just park our butts again with a drink and watch the and watch the MSG Sphere go for a little while. Oh yeah, I want to hear about that because that just opened yeah. after we left in April. It's like June or right, something. Exactly. Right? They start putting stuff all over the outside of it yeah, yeah it's thing, not open yet but it's um thing is wild. but they're doing all the video testing on the outside oh i didn't realize that i thought i thought it was functional as an event center already but no not yet um that's uh they're there when they open it's going to be a big deal because you two will have a residency there oh wow two yeah. billion dollars that thing yeah gosh dang money i'll have to ask uh i bet mitzula i can if i ask mitzula I say hey what's a what's a good vantage point to get a drink and just sit there and watch the msg sphere he'll probably say oh yeah what you want to do is go to the bar the cigar cigar bar on the back side of the link and uh yep. it's got a great a great view of it he'll know he'll know yeah he knows yeah. the best view on balls that's what he does <laughs> Um, anyway, we're going to do a quick break here. When we come back, Stephen Schleicher will be joining us. It's a Stephen week, and uh, we're going to you know, check in on a few nerdy topics, so stick around for that, and uh, we'll do that right after this song break. Brian, what would you bring? Yeah, we're going to go to North Park. Specifically, we're going to go to Toronto for a pop punk group called North Park. Their debut album, which is called Wasteland, just came out. These guys, uh, they rock, man. These guys are really good. Just signed with Wiretap Records. A friend of Coverville Wiretap is awesome. Here is their brand new single. It's called Uno. Remember to always treat everyone in our motels with pineapple hospitality. I told you, young people, that crack is some bad shit. And we've returned. Tell me all about that song again. Sure. That's uh, the band is North Park. The song is called Uno, and their brand new album. Big thanks to Wiretap Records for this one. Their brand new album is called Wasteland. Do you think it's a uh, reference to the card game or a reference to just the Spanish word Uno? What do you think that? They um, I think it's just the Spanish word Uno. I think it's just them saying number one. Number one. Well, number let's one. Talk to Mister Number One right now. And now, welcome Stephen to the show. He's a huge freaking nerd. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. It's Steven Schleicher <laughs> joining us as he does on this Monday, and uh, two Mondays a month now, where we get to talk about nerd stuff. And some of it piles up, man. We get some we get some things that happen over at Majorspoilers.com. Steven, sure. welcome back to the show. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Hello, Scott. Hello, Brian. Hey. Hello. Good how's the how's the school year so far? Things going all right? 
I think so. Yeah? I haven't had anybody freak out or yell at me yet, so. Any uh, kids where you're like, oh, no, that kid's the future. He's the future, you know? He's going to go on, and he's going to change the world, and I'm going to be his teacher, and I'm going to point him in the right direction. Any of those yet? No. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, then I have high confidence in the in the Gen Z and their no, ability. There's, to there's some it really done. good kids here. There are really good kids here. Well, that's good. And they've got a great professor. What do they call you, professor? What do they call you? What do you get? What do you call that him? shithead who does <laughs> his homework at the what last they, minute? What, what do they call it to your face? Really, yeah. is what we want uh, to know. I, I just go by my first name. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. So they can just call you Stephen and not. Yeah, I don't care. They don't go Mister Schleicher. We're, we're, we're all adults. I don't. I'm not. Uh, I'm not hung up on my um, your your my role, rank, your title. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. Ooh, that's a healthy. That's a healthy place to be. But I'll say this: Mr. Schleicher sounds like an evil teacher in the John mm. Hughes film or something. I, I do carry my <laughs> cat around and, and and pet my cat throughout the day. So. <laughs> do you it. have like gloved ha- leather gloved hands and you yes. pet the cat and. Yes. Uh, Perfect. I am bald now too, so you know. It's oh so- yeah, there it attracts. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I like it. No, a lot. Mr. <laughs> no, Mr. Bond. I expect you to turn in your homework on time. <laughs> <laughs> Just need a kid named Bond. All right, uh, right. we're glad to have you back. We're going to talk about a few things. Um, okay, Ahsoka Tano. Yes. You know her character yeah. from the Ahsoka yes. show. Yeah. The Ahsoka uh-huh. show where Ahsoka is way less the main star than I expected her to be, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, I like it a lot. It's been good. But um, her yeah. lightsabers are on sale, and they're not cheap. Tell us what that this means. And are these the actual, like, prop ones? No, no. Them? These aren't the actual ones in you know that have been used, but these are prop replicas from a company called EFX Collectibles, and they do these very high-end, made-of-metal, like, you know, if this was a prop to use in the, in the TV show or a movie or something, they would have something that is screen accurate. And so they have a pair of Ahsoka Tano lightsabers uh, that you can get. They have a great display. They look good. Uh, really they're cool. very neat, uh, but they're nine hundred bucks for the no! pair. Yeah, but nope. it's a pair though. That's a one. It's that a pair, right? Because she's got no, she's she dual, dual, wheels. dual wields, yeah. so you know you do get that. But I, I'm curious, Brian, if you were to, yeah. I mean, you've seen you've seen the pictures of these. I you have could probably. Right I yeah. bet there's yeah. an STL out there right now. Easily, yes. Yeah, that's you could probably thing. print these for like a hundred bucks, right? I could print sell them, them, for... them for a hundred bucks. Well, here's the problem: is if I could, I could sell them for hundred bucks if I created, if I modeled. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's enough enough uh, shown of these things front and back that I could model them. But I'm oh, sure. I can send you some more because I've got them from all sides. So. <laughs> Do you? Okay. So yeah. hold on. If you printed these, though, how much is the actual print going to run you, Brian? Like how much resin or or S- yeah, that well, I'll, there's no way of knowing, Scott, until I actually uh, Is that true? Until I actually, yeah. Oh, no I didn't way of know knowing that. How much resin it would take until I create the STL because it. Because basically, I have to plug the STL into a slicer, set the the hollowing, you know, figure out how hollow I want to make them, uh, so they're a little bit lighter and easier to ship, cheaper, mm. and then I could then I could figure out how much resin and how much time it would take. I like these. So, I like the curves on these things. They're cool. Yeah, I, I like because they, they look like katanas. Like, uh, katanas yeah. 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 So I'm I'm curious. You uh, you have an FDM. You only have the uh, the resin printing. Right? I have two filament printers and two resin printers. You don't have you ever done anything with like metal filament? And I'm, I'm guessing no. there's not a metal resin or anything like that, right? Mm. Not that I know of, and I haven't done. There's there's apparently um, a fairly easy way to do steel plating of stuff. You've got to oh, kind of okay. um, oh yeah yeah yeah. You basically like Soak rub this in. powder all over, and then yeah, you put mm-hmm. them in a in a vat with two electrodes or two. Yeah terminals on either side exactly yeah Yeah. um that seems like so much hassle i'd rather i'd rather just paint them with metallic paint and be done and get some rub and buff you know sand those things down smooth put some rub and buff on there get a little texture on it and Mm -hmm. yeah go to town so yeah Yeah, send me some photos i I actually might be able to uh to replicate these replicas i mean it it would be hard i mean what do you use for your modeling uh the um uh, i I use uh shaper 3d oh okay uh, which is a um, a paid for application, which I find a lot a lot more intuitive than Fusion 360. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a couple of shapes and extrude, and you're done. It kind of is. Yeah. I mean, the curve on them makes it a little bit not really tougher. It just makes it like you've got a. I wouldn't build these as a circle extruded. I would build them as a a flat curved object, mm-hmm. and then round the edges because they're they're they look like they're um flatter than a full oh yeah uh, they, they definitely are cylinder yeah yeah 
Yeah. Until you get to would, the end, and then you've got the full cylinder ball. Would you add other accoutrements? Like, would you put in a little, uh, like, the belt uh, loop? Would you make that out of actual metal, um, or would you 3D print that? Or um, That's a really good question. Would you put a little I, piece of glass on the end where the light's supposed to shoot out? I'd would actually you... probably find a little LED and put that in the end. There you so go. That, so that at least it kind of glows there, even if it doesn't... Uh... Yeah, with some batteries and everything in there. That, yeah. that adds some yeah. heft to it, so that'd look pretty Would cool. Would you yeah. walk around the house exactly. in your underwear, wearing this on your side at 3 a.m.? Under, underwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You this know, is, Scott, you've seen me uh, playing uh, with my Quest 2 in the <laughs> my big plate glass window. Yeah. Yeah. What was I, I thinking? Saber with the. Uh, yeah. What that was, was I thinking? Cool. Well, these are pretty cool. These are, um, I mean, 900 bucks, but they're all hand painted, they're numbered. You get yeah, a whole really and, and the FX have done. They've currently been doing a whole line of Star Wars stuff. They've got Luke, Luke Skywalker's lightsabers up. Uh, in the past, they have done like Thor's helmet and Captain America's shield in super high quality uh, metals that look really cool, but also very expensive. So yeah, they've got. Mm. Ooh, what's this Blade Runner business? Hold on, I didn't know they do. <gasps> they have the pistol. <laughs> Three thousand dollars. It's only three thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Only, yes. only. It's only three thousand. Oh, it's also out of stock. So, oh well. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the bad thing about limited edition things is that they run out quick. Yeah. Well, it's a nice one. It seems good. I I'm not as like if you're, if I was ever going to spend big money on a replica saber, it would probably be an icon, a more iconic one. Not that Ahsoka's isn't iconic for a lot of people. I know it is, but I would probably do. Luke's saber, or I would probably do Vader's, or something like that, where it's just an enormous, overarching Star Wars original to spend that kind of money. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't want to spend nine hundred bucks for a What's character the, that's uh, fine. I Is like it, her. Uh, force effects, I think they're the ones that do those lightsabers that light up, and as you twirl it around, it makes a zoom zoom sounds. Yeah, I have one right yeah there. force effects. Yeah. yeah, I have one over there, and it's good. Like there have been times where I've been tempted to tear off the plastic. Uh, I don't want to, but you could do that. You could saw it off, and you're left with a really good replica, like a, mm. a mountable replica. Oh, saw mm -hmm. off the, the hilt, basically. Yeah. Where is it? Or, I mean, it, yeah, saw the the blade <laughs> off. It's it's surprising actually. I thought the force VFX or force FX ones could actually. Um, I think the newer them. ones. I think the oh, newer okay. ones do the the ones that I have the original run of them. You couldn't do that. Mm. Yeah, here's the. So this one is the. Um, this is the Luke one. And I think it's still battery good. Yeah, it's still good. And it's got the kind where, you know, the thing sucks in and goes yeah. out. Yeah, I, I like it. Lights and up. It makes sounds yeah. when you mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But I don't, I don't, you know, if I had to, I guess is what I'm saying. If this got damaged, you mm -hmm. could yank this whole bit out, mount this thing, and you've got a replica mm -hmm. hilt, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be one way to go. And that's only, I think, I don't know what they cost now, but originally they were like 100, 120 bucks exactly, for those. Yeah, yeah, about so, 100. Yep. Yeah. About a third the price. Yeah. Um, and there's, yeah, they're, yeah, they're like heavy and they're metal and stuff. That's like, yeah. It's got that warning sticker on it. Yeah. A big old warning. <laughs> yes. There's a big yellow you sticker that says, that off, right? This one, yeah, I think it comes off. It says, unscrew here to insert batteries. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like my, my Jedi, my Jedi training is now complete. Uh, well, anyway, there's that. Let's talk about Spider-Man, the comic book. Uh, well, more specifically, Spider-Man India, because uh, people were a really big fan of Spider-Man India when uh, he debuted on the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie a few months ago. And now it's a comic book miniseries. Fifth issue comes out in October. That's the final issue of the uh, miniseries. And if people, that means probably November, December, the trade paperback should be out. But uh, I'm going to guess that we're going to see more Spider-Man India in the future. Uh, he's getting a new costume in the fifth issue. Uh, and so I'm going to bet that he's going to be making a lot more appearances in the near future. Yeah, I didn't so. know his. I, I don't know why I didn't know this. I thought his debut was comics first. The, and then it was just an obscure. He probably was in one of the. Um, mm -hmm massive uh the crossover spider versus stuff yeah. in the comic books but For it's sure. not like you know not like a big deal kind of thing mm -hmm. uh, but certainly once he pops up and has a whole segment of the mm -hmm. movie a lot more people are paying attention to him i For absolutely sure. love his his costume it's so cool yeah, it looks yeah. really cool yeah really cool this yeah. whole like baggy you know indian style triple r pants he's got on mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the and the, the way those sneakers fit and i don't know there's something about it. it's like homemade mixed with real spider-man i don't know i just absolutely think it's awesome i'll, I'll check this out it's not going to be um 
I mean, it's in English, right? They're not. Are they, are oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. As okay. far as I know, now there are some comics uh, like DC with Blue Beetle. Yeah. Uh, they will release two versions of the comic: one that's just all Spanish language, and the other one that is in English. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, but no, this one is just straight up English. Yeah. Oh, chat says uh, premiered in 2004, but never really yeah, got in, his own in thing. One of it. Yeah. Yeah. So now he's got his own thing. Look at that. Yep, got his own thing. So go get it. Deserves go, go it. Check it out over at the Marvel. Also, Saturday, uh, Saturday, Saturday is Batman Day. Uh, how are you going to celebrate over there? What's going on? Are there some events? I are there think things? we're having community flu shots that day. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, that's when we're getting our uh, our fifth gen booster and our flu shot as well. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to do both on the same day. Yeah. Well, oh, but then, oh, really? Doubling yeah. it up? Yeah. yeah, might as well. Might as well. I did last uh, time. Two, it was fun. Those two you could do. I wouldn't throw the shingles one in there. No, no, no I no. learned that the hard way. I did yes. do shingles and booster yes. same day. That exactly. messed me the Don't F do up. do that one the same day. Yeah. That sucked. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Shingles. Can I just say? Shingles. They, they suck. Sucks. I've had them before. Oh, I've a, had them before. It's, it's a load, man. I don't yeah. like it. Anyway, uh, Batman Day. I'm going to draw a bunch of Batman with Carter. Uh, that's our plan for Batman Day. Okay, uh, you should live stream that. So there's a lot of things. So technically, Batman Day is September 16th, but really, Batman Day events already started last Monday, and they will go through the end of the year depending on which country you're in. So uh, there are events taking place in Korea and uh, Great Britain and Japan and China. Uh, so you can go find stuff all over the world. Specifically this weekend, though, uh, your local comic shop should have a couple exclusives, uh, including some um, uh, clothing, hats, uh, whatnot. They also have a set of pins that celebrate the Batmobile over the years uh, that you can probably pick up if your store orders them. You need probably ought to call ahead on that. They've got some uh, new Batman comics that are coming out this week, obviously, because uh, that's what Batman does. And if you are a moviegoer, the Batman um, uh, trilogy, the uh, Batman Begins, Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises are all getting theatrical re-releases this oh. weekend, so you can go and see with your specific theater. Back, oh, back on the big screen. Back yeah. on the big screen. So I think Alamo, uh, somebody can correct me on this, uh, I think Alamo Drafthouse is one of the theaters chains that are, are running yeah. the Dark Knight trilogy, so you can go check that out. Uh, otherwise, up on the um, HBO Max, uh, <laughs> you can... <laughs> You can watch a bunch of Batman movies and animated series and a bunch of stuff uh, being launched all over that this weekend as well. That's cool. What a lot going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah there just, really is. I, I mean, I was like, oh, okay, here they're going to just say, hey, go and buy these comics and this merch or whatever at your comic book shop. And then you read the press release and it just goes on and on and on and on. And you get down to, hey, if you're in Brazil... Uh, here are all the events that are going in uh, for Batman Day in Brazil and Thailand and Malaysia and and it just goes on and on and on. Wow. Did so. you did you already say why what the significance is of the 16th? I don't remember. I want to say that's probably the first appearance of um oh, Batman, sure. you know, no, the no, historical no. Canon canonical release date of the comic, but I have never checked that out. Uh it seems sometimes to be an arbitrary thing. Mm -hmm. Uh but uh but yeah, that's what I'm going to guess. Okay. Yeah. It's like okay. Christmas, man. Jesus is born in April or some something. Right, right. Yeah, we didn't have we didn't have enough going on in December. Let's put it then. Yeah, let's stick it then. Then it just stays. This is when his uh, his mother and father were killed in that alley behind the uh, the theater. <laughs> uh, Carter just sent me a text and says we t totally should do an art stream for Batman Day. So maybe we will yeah. stream yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know why September sixteenth because uh, it's May uh, is yeah. when Detective Comics drop. So right. That's also no, I, May. Well, May is Free Comic Book Day. Maybe they don't want to bump up against that. Uh, they could. They could uh, be stumbling over that. Uh, mm -hmm. Could be sure tripping mm -hmm. over it in, sure. in a way. Uh, all right. Well, these are uh, good stuff. Go check out this whole listing over there at majorspoilers.com, along with many, many other hunks of content that you're going to want to put into your life if you're into this stuff like we are. Uh, that's majorspoilers.com. Stephen, is there anything else going on you'd like to tell folks about? Hey, listen. It is. We are fully into autumn now. And uh, that is great. It's raining all day today, but there's still going to be some hot days in the coming weeks. So I just want everybody to stay hydrated. Oh, that's good advice. Thanks so much for that. <laughs> all righty. Very cool. Um, always good having Steven on. Tomorrow we'll have, um, who's on tomorrow? Travis. Travis doing his, uh, oh, cool. his uh, monthly, uh, monthly test quiz. Thing, quiz. Good. Yep. Name that thing. About that. Yep. And next week, uh, Travis will be hosting with me on Monday while Brian's in Vegas. And then Tuesday, Bobby. And then Wednesday, Brian's back. Yes! Woo!
put my my lightsaber back. You probably have stories to tell. I oh my, that better have stories. If I don't have stories, then what the hell am I doing going to Vegas? Some kind of debauchery right? like, will go on, you know. Because yeah. remember, you know, Tanner and um and his Alex. and Alex. Yep. Uh, Miss Vegas this year, so this yeah, is their they catch TMS up. Vegas, so this they have some catching up to do. Yep, and don't flick him in the eyes. eyes Lucy, weird. yeah, just what, make don't sure. What? Don't flick him in the eyes. Got a weird eye. You don't want to flick him in the eye. Oh, I know. Yeah, poor, poor, poor guy. Tanner. I know it no. sucks. It's the kind of thing, oh, dude. Eyes, eyes are freaky. All right. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants problems with their eyes. Nobody wants eye problems. They suck. They do suck. Let's get to a text here before we get out of here. Gene from Brooklyn wrote in and said, Scott and Brian, Poker Face is nothing more than a reskinned modern day version of the Incredible Hulk TV show from the 80s. Gene from Brooklyn. Okay. Do you Could agree? Could you also say it's like Knight Rider or uh, MacGyver, basically? You know, it's like a here's a problem. <laughs> uh, I guess the, the deal is that. Uh, um, Natasha Leone is getting chased across the country, and these are places as she's drifting, she gets she stops in them. But that's yeah. a, that's it, only a small one-off comparison, though, right? Like I said, if mean? she was turning green or something, then I would I would see this comparison. No, but I mean, it, yeah, exactly. It's you know basically instead of turning into the Hulk, she has powers to be able to tell when people are lying. But she does, you know, like like David Banner. <laughs> Yeah. She was traveling across the country trying to get away from the reporter that was chasing her and uh or he was and and, and stopping in different locations and helping out a person every week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of, sure. Some similarity there. Some similarity. That's about it though. There's a lot of show there yeah. that isn't anything to do with the whole. Yeah, and there's and and uh, you know, if you were if you were alive in the 70s and 80s, there were a thousand shows that were the problem of the week getting solved by somebody who maybe was on the run or that's all they had we had four yeah. story types in the 80s and yeah. they were all getting regurgitated by every show constantly <laughs> pretty much, exactly it's just a different they, time they pretty much assume people don't have time to pay if they want a long continuing story they can watch a soap opera but we could we only have time really to tell a uh, a one hour story that has to start and finish in that hour that's right oh this reminds me carter and i are watching i was saying we we're watching what we do in the shadows catching up yeah. and you know the theme yeah. song which is so great for that and the movie yes. the movie uses the same yes. th theme song i didn't know that song was made your in the early 60s day. Had no idea. It was yeah, made in like '63. Yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. it blew my freaking mind. <laughs> does oh, do you? Don't you think it sounds like? It's I mean, from it that does. Era? I just thought it was artificially made to be. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what I thought. I thought it was original to the show, but it's like it already existed. That blew my mind. Yeah, I'm trying to pull up the song here to say who the original. Yeah, we should give credit by. to the whoever made it. Um. It's called You're Dead, right? Or yeah. no? You're dead, you're dead. And yeah. Well, I mean, I know they sing that a lot. but uh, <laughs> um, uh, Let's find it here. It is You're Dead, What We Do in the Shadows. Where's... Oh, S Sunrise Sunset theme. Is that what it's called? No, that's from an episode I just no, saw. It's Never mind. different. Um, I, I yeah, found the song. I, I can't find the artist. I don't have it in my uh, library, at least not under that. Oh, name. written and performed by Norma Tang Tangia, 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 T A N G I A. Yeah, um, Norma Cecilia Tang Tangia was an American folk and pop singer, painter, and experimental musician. And the uh, '60s, she had a hit with "Walking My Cat Named Dog." <laughs> uh, worked for Dusty Springfield, a bunch of other musicians. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know this. I didn't know it. I knew nothing about the song, but now we. This is one of those shows. You know, have shows where you never skip the intro. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I never skip the intro of the show, and it's purely because I just love that song so much. But I also really like. You know, I do this with Futurama. I do it with. Um, it's almost always music reasons. Now that I think about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. If you have a bad theme for your intro, yeah, I'm not or if you've it. got, or if you've got something that changes in the opening credits of a show right it's and there's a good another good reason to not skip the the opening intro yeah but, season uh, four does that a lot which i really enjoyed oh do they really yeah. oh cool like they change things in the opening yeah and Excellent. i think it might be the first season where they actually do that you're cool. you're gonna love it dude you yeah. should you when you guys catch it just, i can't wait yeah we're just, it might be after the thing we're currently like we're currently doing ahsoka just catching up to what's been released with ahsoka we just finished a thing that I'm totally going to be talking about on Wednesday that that um, we kind of forgot about. We were all excited, and I don't think 
I think we would have been talking about it more if we had watched it before now. So mm. that'll be that'll be Wednesday. Okay, looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, in the meantime, you can keep these texts coming, like Gene in Brooklyn. You can send it to 801-471-0462. Better yet, you can go to our Patreon and support the show and get a commercial-free version of this podcast, plus cool stuff in the mail and a whole bunch of other reasons mm -hmm. to join up. Get in there at patreon.com slash TMS. You hear us say it every day. That's because it is the steam which makes this train run. Okay? Yeah. That's going to do it for today's show. Uh, we should play a song. Uh, you know, speaking of music, let's play a little music. What do we got? Just something. I don't know. Just something to go ahead on. Sure. Uh, by the way, uh, only have two more requests scheduled for the rest of September. So please, if you have a birthday, an anniversary, something you want to celebrate or whatever, um, get in your. And those are just requests tied to days. I, I need to look at the play this on any date uh, list of requests. That's where I usually pull from. So if you have uh, something you want to celebrate in September. Go to uh, frogpants.com slash TMS or use the um, the link, the tinyurl.com that uh, Jeannie just put in the in the chat. Get your request in. All right. Uh, Dr. Calhoun, a.k.a. Brian Young, said, I turned the big 5-0 on September 9th, but that's a Saturday. So unless you want to do a special show on my honor, you can do this sometime around that date. Birthday. Oh, shit. Clip. Hold on. Finding. <laughs> clicking. Pushing button let's party nice yeah very nice. very nice uh by the way we also have a brand new tadpool survey so make sure you get your answers in for that one there's some real head scratchers in there uh we talked about that uh um oh during the saturday cat pooligans i popped in and we were talking about the tadpool survey listen folks we're getting out of ooh, which is your favorite star trek captain we have to go into what's your favorite theoretical constant you know, stuff like that so uh so get in there and put your thinking caps on and do the uh uh do give the answers and by the way pass is not an answer all right no okay. it's not but they'll do it now now they'll do it because they always do yeah. it. If we say not to do a thing, yes. they're going to freaking yes, do it. Yes, they will say, oh, pass. How many different ways can I write the word pass? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, uh, Dr. Calhoun said, how about a grunge cover? How about a grunge cover? Oh, man. So I've got a cover of Alive by Pearl Jam. Uh, this one was performed by Andy Stone and Cat Zero and adds a very cool electronic twist to the song that the original of course doesn't have here are andy stone and cat zero and alive i like cat zero better than regular zero it's it, it yeah tastes, well it's low sugar yeah, it's no low sugar, sugar I mean, but the flavor's yeah. good they've gotten better at that and you know it tastes just like regular cat yeah it does i can't tell the difference now <laughs> but i know the pounds are coming off all right here it is let's play that let's be back tomorrow with a brand new show thank you all for listening we'll see you then Get more at frogpants.com. <laughs> oh, all right.